need to get your data to the browser as quickly as possible. So let's look at an application uh, that drills through one of Lisa's American Community Survey data layers. So if I zoom into the Northeast region, now I drop down to the census tract level. Uh, and we're looking at, remember, census tracts are about uh, 76,000 census tracts in the US. So we're pulling that data quickly, efficiently. You know, it's loading at the same speed or faster than the tiles itself. Well, let's look behind the scenes to see how that's working. A couple things to call out here. First, uh, notice that query, f equals pbf. That means we're returning the data uh, in protocol buffer format. That's a binary format optimized for data transfer. It's delivered over the HTTP, HTTP2 protocol, which helps to reduce the size of the transport. And if you reduce the size, that's going to reduce the time. Now, the beauty of feature layers powered by feature tiles is, the, is in the way that the JavaScript API requests data from the server. It requests it in a cacheable way. And we can cache it at the browser, or if it's public data, cache it at the CDN, uh, or uh, cache it within our infrastructure and online so that we don't have to go to the database. This allows us to re retrieve your data as quickly and efficiently as possible. But don't worry if your data changes automatically behind the scenes. It's up to date. And this applies not just for 2D, but also 3D. So we'll see the same uh, capabilities uh, in terms of how we request data in 3D uh, to get very uh, quick uh, data retrieved from the server for feature layers. In 3D, in, with feature layers, whether retrieving points, lines, or polygons, you can work with extremely large data sets, uh, more than you ever could before. Yeah. So to recap, uh, you can manage your data efficiently and easily. We're open. We work with GeoJSON, spreadsheets, common data formats. It's updatable interactively or via efficient bulk updates. You can do it from the field or from the browser. And it's performant, powered by dynamic feature tiles, combining the best of vector tiles and updatable data.